Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Top Gear substitution. As you can see behind me, I have Sam's Alfa Romeo 4C and I've wondered the amount of times that this idiot has appeared on my YouTube channel and I've appeared on his YouTube channel and I haven't even done a review of this car. Now amazingly, Sam has offered to allow me to use his car as a review for a Top Gear substitution episode. So I haven't driven that many cars as most people know. I can't believe he's actually going to give me the keys to um, drive the absolute beast. It's the Monaco edition that he did for Top Marks and he's just kept the wheels um, and this is the launch edition. I don't know too much about it, but Sam is actually going to be doing a review on this car. So all I really want, want to know is how it drives and what it's like on the inside as a little sports car, whether it matches up to the Audi R8. So this is going to be a cool comparison video. Right, Sam. Can you hold that? Yeah, okay. And basically, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start walking in like to here. Right. And then when I get to the door, like here. Sure. Can you throw me the key and be like, right? Should we jump in? Let's go and review this car. Okay. Why? Why do you need the key though? Well. You. Because I'm driving review. <laughs> you're not driving it, mate. I'm not. No, you're not insured. Like, how, you're not insured. All your reviews are from the passenger seat, isn't that? Supercars of London style. <laughs> what? You said that we could do a review on it. As if I'm going to let you drive it. No. Okay, you ready? Should we literally just come? Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> you should have first. Oh. I should have filmed that. Right. Well, I'm filming. Oh, <laughs> right, so first things first. Let's look at the cockpit. How much carbon there is, let's try and get my legs out of the way because I'm wearing shorts today. So you are proper, if you're claustrophobic, it's not the greatest car. There's not much leg room. There's loads of carbon. Can I take this out or do, will it break? Well, will it break? Don't, don't break my car, mate. Can't you like speed this bit up? Well, I could, but I don't know. like crib style. Carbon. There you go, it's all carbon. So this is like, um, yeah, we didn't actually need that, I might cut it. So like most Italian cars these days, this is a semi-automatic. Electric windows. <laughs> Electric windows, whoa, amazing. And what I find is quite similar to the Ferraris is the one neutral R and AM. So this is um, race. This is night mode. Yeah, the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's taken off that BMW. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Yeah. BMW vir um, viral prank, it's hilarious. Um, so you've got different drive selects there, which we'll try and um, explore a little bit. So let's start, let, yeah, no you can't. Let's, let's start up. <laughs> It's actually very low to the ground. Have you got everything? Yeah. Very low to the ground, quite difficult to get into, but there's, it's nice bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs> what an awful it's description. It's, it's a nice bits and pieces, that's the end. It's got Thanks some, for watching, it's guys. Got some... It's essentially not a McLaren P1. No. Let's put the window things up. And I don't know, apart from the fact that it's two-seater, 4C obviously means four cylinders. Well done. And it's obviously got turbocharged because you can hear the little <laughs> whizzes. How many brake horsepower is it? Uh, it's like 237 or something. 237 brake horsepower. Not to be precise. And how much does it weigh? Uh, 895 kilos, so under a ton. I used to say under a stone, and people would laugh. <laughs> it is. It's not a joke. I'm deadly serious. It's under a stone. And one of the one of the weight saving methods that Alfa Romeo had was to remove high protein diet. Oh, sorry. Power steering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was to remove power steering. How is that to drive around central London? That's where the guns come from. No, I don't have guns. Um, it's it's good. It's fine actually. You know what? You don't, honestly, you don't notice it. But you only notice it when parallel parking and doing three point turns. But look, you try and move the steering wheel now. Bloody hell! Yeah, it's pretty solid, right? Yeah. You can see there the brake pedal comes at you quite a lot. Yeah. So if you have shoes with, um, uh, you, unless you have flat soled shoes. 
your shoes can get caught on the pedal quite a lot. Which is dangerous. Which is very dangerous, so you end up shuddering a lot. So if you see me in traffic, like shuddering, it's my shoes, I'm wearing the wrong shoes. And pedal, it's hard, it's a hard There's a tunnel here. Well, we're going to do it on the way back, I think. Oh. Um, it's... Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> This car is, is at its loudest during the gear changes. Yeah, when it goes that, 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 it's the, it's like from five thousand. So look, if we let's fancy by the cruise, yeah, when it goes that, but I see I've still got three thousand lifts to go. It does kick you in the back of it. It did, it did, and it gets your stomach going as well. Right, it's good. This three point turn. It's not got the. Oh, oh, look at that in one. We've done it. It's the first time ever. We've been given the green light by the um, traffic lights, and Sam is going to demonstrate all weather. So, all weather really does cut the power. So, I'm in all weather now, I'm in third gear, and if I floor it. It gives it you in bits. Yeah, you get you get like loads of turbo lag basically. So um, it gives it you in like sections. Yeah, and it can, it can have just, a bit of power. Yeah. Uh, Wait a bit. Uh, have a bit more. It's interesting. It's not very uh, it's not a very intelligent system as opposed no. to the Ferrari's computer that will just sort of kick in traction. I don't. I don't. Really, Saves me from really, killing myself. Though. Yeah. Well, then it is relatively intelligent. Mm. More intelligent than its driver, I don't know. <laughs> it's a cool looking dash. Agreed. I can't see the best of it. Spontaneous Top Gear substitution video. You may remember from the Thursday video when I linked up with Sam. <laughs> Sound like I'm from the hood. Linked up with Sam. Yeah. When I met up with Sam to help him film his review video. Um, when is that going Have live? Have you announced that? Or is that, is that, you, is that you not live? <laughs> it's definitely not gone live yet. Did you announce it in your vlog? Yeah. Oh, mate. It was probably not going to go live for about three months. I did a lot to film. <laughs> so, yeah, it was quite a spontaneous video. I hope you guys have enjoyed just. Two idiots and uh, an Alfa Romeo 4 c Two idiots and a 1.7 litre engine. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I haven't really lost my touch on uh, whoa doing the my first supercar passenger reviews of not being in control of the car whatsoever. It was all down to Sam's insurance. And I'm going to lose my voice after doing this uh, video, so I apologise in advance for all of the videos to come where I'm whispering because the road noise is so loud. So like Jeremy Clarkson said, like all of the journalists say, they love the car, but they wouldn't own it. It's true. It is what they said, but... It is what they say. But they're wrong. But tune into Sam's See Through Glasses video <laughs> for a real review. In October. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the week to continue the daily vlogs. Next week's Goodwood, bring it on. You gonna say bye? Well, I think I've got speed bumps, I have to concentrate because I've got seven hours to go. Okay, I'll say bye for you, bye. <laughs> you can have a bit of a joke about that. <laughs>